Good morning and happy first day of Croctober. I am so excited because for the next 20 days, we will be making a slow cooker recipe every day, Monday through Friday morning between 8.30 and 9.30 a.m. here on Facebook Live. Today is our first recipe. It comes from the Magic Menu Planning Slow Cooker Series box. These are amazing. You can click the link in the video if you're interested in getting one. I'm gonna pull them out. We are doing weeks five through eight for Croctober. Last year we did one through four, so we're doing week five through eight. So I'm pulling out today two of the happiest recipes you will ever make in your whole life. We're making slow cooker Italian beef sliders and slow cooker pumpkin spice cake. I'm gonna adjust this one. We'll see how it goes. As you're hopping on, tell me good morning. Also hit that share this button and let a friend know so that they can join us for Croctober. I promise this is the happiest place you will ever be. I'm excited, y'all. Y'all, I'm being a dork this morning. Are you ready to see my dorkiness? Come on now, let me show you my dorkiness here this morning. I have my little Croctober set up right here. I'm gonna light my happy Croctober candle to make our food, and then we're gonna get this dinner done in about a minute. Like, it's gonna take no time at all. It's such a fast one. Doesn't that just make you happy, guys? Okay, so here's our crock pot, and again, you can click the link in the video for all the recipes. I'm hoping that doesn't mess up the lighting. We'll see, I may have to move the candle. We'll see if that works or not. Okay, here we go. We're making the Italian beef roast. I used a two to three pound boneless uh, shoulder roast. I like a shoulder roast best, and then I cut off as much fat as I possibly can. All you're gonna need to do this one is a can of pepperoncini peppers. I want you to get the ones that are like this, the whole ones. You don't wanna get the sliced ones because the sliced ones will mess up a little bit. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Tania. Good morning, Danielle. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate you guys a ton. Thank you for sharing the video. Again, we'll give you a $10 Amazon gift card for sharing it. Um, one person, one lucky winner. Actually, three lucky winners. We'll pick three winners who hit the share of this button. Okay, so you're gonna take your pepperoncini peppers. This is one of my husband's favorite meals. His mom made it for him when he was a kid. You'll see when you go to dig into the pepperoncinis that's got a little plastic thing on top. You're just gonna dump the whole thing. And literally, you guys, that's all you're gonna do for in the morning for dinner. Like, you just made dinner, and this is a great one because it can actually cook seven to eight hours on low without any problem. So you're just gonna let this sucker cook all day long. And I'm gonna give you a couple tips. If you have kids who are picky, give me a heart or like if you've got picky kids at home. I'm gonna save this jar and I'm gonna tell you what to do for your picky kids because I have picky kids too. At the end of the day, you are gonna save this jar because you're gonna put all of these pepperoncini peppers, you're gonna put right back in here. If your kids are picky, what I want you to do is I want you to take a turkey baster, remove as much liquid as you can, put back in about the same amount of liquid, so about a cup, I would say, of liquid, of just water. Then either way, you're gonna add in your Aji's mix. You're gonna shred up, you're gonna let this cook for another 30 minutes or so, shred up the beef, serve it over hoagie rolls, your family is gonna be so stinking happy. They will love this meal, I promise. So just get rid of the liquid. We take all the peppers out, so we take the peppers out. You can either just take the peppers out, add in the odd juice mix, or take the peppers out and also remove as much juice and that will make it way less spicy. Okay, who wants to make some pumpkin spice cake? Have any of you guys ever made dessert in your crock pot? Give me a heart if you've done dessert in your crock pot before. Give me a like if you haven't. We're gonna make these. This pumpkin spice cake, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna make some adjustments because the grocery store did not have everything I was hoping for today. Let me scooch this over here. Over there. I'm gonna mix up, here's everything we need for the pumpkin spice cake. There you go, how's that? Okay, for the pumpkin spice cake, we do actually make it in a crock pot, which I know is kind of crazy. Trust me, it feels very crazy. I don't wanna lose any eggs over here. So I'm gonna just look at my recipe card. And what I'm mixing together are one box spice cake. How many of you guys could not find a carrot spice cake? I couldn't find a spice cake. I'm gonna try it with a carrot cake. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. So I've got a carrot cake mix, and I'm just gonna add that in. I have no idea if this will work. There are substitutions online for spice cakes if you can't make, find it either. My store had it, they just didn't have any left. So maybe everybody in the world is Croctobering, I don't know. We're gonna add a third a cup of oil, a half a cup of water, four eggs, And you can just mix this all together. This is so easy. And I'm gonna show you how we're actually gonna bake this in a crock pot, which is kind of crazy, I think. Then we're gonna add in a cup of pumpkin puree. There we go. Move 
move all this over here out of my way. Okay, we're gonna mix this all together. We also need to add in one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin spice spice. We also have some of these wooden spoons in the Passionate Penny Pincher store, so if you've been dying for these, this is it. I have no idea if the carrot cake is gonna work, guys. It's a gamble. Um, and then that's it. So all we're gonna do in this is we're just gonna go ahead and mix this all together right here. Banana peppers. Good morning. I'm so glad you found me live this morning, Cindy. I'm tickled you're here today. Thank you for stopping by, guys. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. We'll be doing this every single morning for all of October. It's going to be super fun. Oh, y'all, this smells amazing. I have no idea if it's going to work, but it smells really good. What's nice about this one is you don't even need a mixer. You can just stir it right up yourself. I want to make sure the eggs are blended in really well, so I'm giving it a good hard stir. Okay. There we go. There we go. So that's all done. Now, here's my big question that I need help on. Y'all, this is, I'm going to cook it in my Ninja crock pot. I'm, I go back and forth with this Ninja. I, I have a love-hate relationship with it. Let me show you what I'm doing here. And let me ask you guys your opinions. So, this one is going to be a messy one. So I have the option of a crock pot liner or parchment paper. I was looking at it this morning. Let me just show you how a crock pot liner looks in this. It's real big. It's like really big. And I don't know that it's gonna bake real easily in that. So I think I'm gonna do it in parchment. The nice thing about the Ninja is they really don't stick at all. Give me a heart if y'all are in agreement with me on doing this one in parchment. I'm really leaning towards the parchment. Give me a like if you're like, Laura, use that crock pot liner, girl. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna go this way. It just feels like it'll get right into the creases. You could probably do this without doing a liner, but y'all know how a cake mix is. And a cake mix, especially in a regular crock pot, is gonna be a hot mess. So that's why we're gonna do it with the liner, and I think this is what I'm gonna do. And I'm hoping it'll be good. I really don't know what to expect, you guys. I will tell you, this is not one. I've tested probably 90% of the recipes in the box. My team is amazing. And this is one they guaranteed me was a winner. And I trust them so much. But here we go. We're just gonna put all of this down in here. I'm excited though. Oh, it smells so good. I really wish I had spice cake mix instead of carrot cake mix. I don't know. I figure it's worth a gamble. If it's terrible, I'll save a lot of calories for our whole family. Y'all try this out. Okay, so that part's done. Hang on, I'm gonna get all the goodness here. For the other one, I didn't even say, for the Italian beef, you're gonna cook it on low seven to eight hours. This one, you're gonna cook for two hours. So this is one you would do later in the day. What you're gonna do with this one is, actually you're gonna cover and cook on high for one hour and 45 minutes. So this one's gonna cook way less. While this is working, I'm gonna go ahead and make up the frosting with you guys. So let's get over here. There's the crock pot one. To make the frosting you need, Cream cheese, a stick of cream cheese. I use fat free because because I'm crazy and think it's gonna help even though I'm eating all the other stuff. There's a third a cup of butter softened. And now I'm gonna mix in these together. Again, you can click the link in the video to get all of the recipes we're using from the Magic Menu Box. You want them, just trust me on this. You totally want them. So click the link in the video if you're interested for that. You're gonna mix the cream cheese. I've gotta add in a little bit of van vanilla real fast here. And you know what? I did not get this open this morning. I sat there and fought with it for 30 minutes, not really, before my daughter went to school and finally gave up and took her to school and forgot to look for how to get this thing open. I hate when you get stuff and it doesn't open. Okay, here is nothing, guys. There we go, that'll work. I'm telling you, I'm convinced things are tighter than they used to be. Either that or my fingers are getting real old. We're gonna add in about, a little about one and a half teaspoons. I'm gonna mix this in. powdered sugar and then if you need to add in a little milk you can um, I'm gonna try not to but that's 
gonna, I'm afraid it's gonna be real dry. We'll see. And then this won't go on top of the cake until obviously after it bakes the seasoning. Oh y'all, this might be the best powdered fr sugar frosting I have ever made. Look how good that is whipping together. Somebody asked me if I always make dessert. I usually make dessert once a week, so I'll be making these desserts on Mondays. Um, I do not make dessert every single day, trust me. But if I can try a crock pot dessert, I am all in. Okay, there we go. So that, you know what, you really don't need to add any extra liquid. Just make sure that your, make sure your cream cheese and your butter is softened. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start my other crock pot. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna start everything. I will answer any quick questions and I'm just gonna get it set up really fast here. I am so excited. Okay, so I've got my one crock pot here with my Italian beef in it. Remember, you can click the link in the video to get all of these recipes sent to you. You will love them. We'll send them in a beautiful box and you'll get the right PD, the PDFs right away. I'm gonna start this one right over here. Plug this sucker in. Hello. There we go. One crock pot done. This one I'll bake later. That's it, you guys. So easy. So let me answer any of your quick questions. Get click the link in the video to get the recipe box. We will send you the PDF files just as what as soon as you get them. If you're new, would you say hi so I can say hello to you? If you're new and you've never heard of Crocktober or Passionate Penny Pincher menu plans before, you are gonna be the happiest girl or boy, but probably girl when you try these out. Um, you do, the recipes all come in a digital version, yes. Um, there is a link, we'll put the link in for the digital version. If you order the cards, you will also get the digital version for free. I promise, like, I promise you will love these menus. In fact, I, I'm assuming lots of folks are on here watching who are doing this with me, so they can kind of vouch for me this isn't a fake. Like, this is a good deal. I promise this is worth it. Hello, can you show the finished project? Yes, I will show the finished one this evening, Carla, for sure. Can you get it in only in digital? Yes, Erin, we'll put a link in there for that. I will tell you, these have been selling fast. I don't think these will last. They certainly won't last till November. I don't know if they'll last through October. So if you're considering getting the box, they are selling much faster than I expected to. Like, they're selling like hotcakes. So if you're interested in the box, I think you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and grab it. Um, you just bought the planner this morning. Oh, and if you can, you can get the planner with it, which is a great deal. Um, okay, hello, this is your first time. Yay, Lisa, I'm so glad you're here and you're doing it for your first time. Good morning, Marsha. I am so glad you're here this morning. Good morning, Pamela, it's your first time. You guys, Crocktober is the happiest time of year. You will love it. You just got the notification that I was live. Oh no, you can watch the repeat, it'll be totally fine. Chris, will you let us know? I will let you know how the cake turns out. I'm really curious about it with the, um, with that pumpkin spice mix or with the carrot cake i'm not quite so sure you got the digital slow cooker yes and you you the order the cards are easier if you're on the fence it is cheaper to do the cards in the long run because it's so expensive to print them the cards also come with a dry erasable grocery list it really is like i'm just a normal mom like you who needed this in her life so i made them for you and me because i now don't want to cook from anything else so it's best um you're not doing the whole week but the one of the it, but this is one of the best collections of slow cooker meals ever. It is the best. It's just the best. It is the best. They are the best slow cooker meals on the planet. And this is the best menu planning series on the planet. There's lots of other great menu plans out there. There are tons of other people out there doing them. Nobody else is going to send you a box with everything in it that will be this easy. I promise. You're going to love it. The recipes are great. Could I just be live all day? I've got to, I'm gonna hop into the supper club group. I'll hop into some of the other groups here in a second. You guys, I am so thankful for each of you. Click the link in the video if you are interested in trying these out. I promise you will love them. They are, they really are the best menu plans on the planet. Um, there are 12 desserts, Ruth, so one dessert for each week. Yeah, so you can get those. Hello, it's your first time you would love the cards. Alicia, click the link in the video. I promise you're gonna love these. Like, and the other thing I didn't even mention is the recipes are cheap. So you'll spend about $100 a week to get your groceries for a family of four to six for five days of recipes and a uh, dessert. And if you get like, like today, I got a big Italian beef, so I'll have plenty of leftovers for lunches too. You got all three and you love them, yay. First time, Chrissy, hello in Boston. I am tickled you're here this morning. Chrissy, thank you for stopping by this morning. Your cousin bought you this box and you haven't used it yet. Marie, Marie, can I just tell you, pull the box out. 
pull the box out and do it with us. If you have the box, you need to do it. You just got the dessert cards and you're excited by the cards so much. The cards are so much better. I'm just saying they are. Thank you for that. You're doing crack cover even on the weekends, Trina. I love that. We did it on the weekends too at our house. Good morning in Kansas, y'all. Good morning, Shannon. I'm excited to see you here. You guys have an amazing day. Make your dinner, put a candle on, do the happy things in your house because you know what? We are so blessed to have homes that we can be in where we can have slow cooker food. I saw somebody some youngish little hot mama vlogger talking about talking smack about slow cooker foods. I'm telling you, slow cooker makes it easy and happy and it makes my life better and my kids will live on slow cooker food. So don't talk trash about slow cooker because you haven't had my meals yet. You guys have an amazing day and we will talk soon. Bye guys. There you go. Hello everybody. I'm filling in for the passionate penny pincher today. You've got a guest host on my first Facebook live ever. I've got Caroline helping film. Lori has been running around with um, our daughter, Reagan, who has just had knee surgery and is a little bit incapacitated tonight since she's down in the basement. Lori's just kind of stressed dealing with her. So Caroline and I are filling in for the week five Croptober menu. This is, we're assembling the Italian beef sliders recipe cards. I just got home from work and I walked in and saw there's recipe cards here, so I really don't know what we've got. So this is kind of... The great part of the Croctober menus is you just walk in, the house smells really good, and even me, Mr. <laughs> PPP, can figure out how to assemble a meal. So what we're going to do is we're following the slow cooker Italian beef sliders. Um, click on the link there and you can get the recipe cards. This is week five. And I think for dessert, it looked like, I don't know what that is, but it, other than the card says a slow cooker pumpkin spice cake. And I see there's frosting sitting on the counter, so we'll be icing that cake as well. Um, beef sliders, the slow cooker Italian beef sliders are something that my mom used to make forever. So um, we've had the, the beef, Italian beef in there with the peppers. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the peppers out of the, um, the crock pot. And you can leave some of them in if you want, but um, it makes it spicier. Our family doesn't really like the spicy, so we start getting the um, peppers out. Um, Caroline, can you say who's joining us, or is anybody there? Hi. You see? Kim says hi, Mr. Penny Pincher. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, this is my first Facebook Live ever, so please click a like or a heart. To Let's see if we can fix the sound, Lisa. One second. We'll see if that's any better for Sally. Maybe. As we said, I've never done one of these. I just kind of, I know that um, Lori is really kind of tired today from dealing with Reagan and her knee. So I'm filling in, thought I'd surprise her and kind of try to do my first Facebook Live ever. And so as mentioned, you take out the pepper stuff. I also take out a lot of the sauce too, because I don't like, I don't like a lot of the juice because it makes it too, too spicy for our family. Um, we've got some wimpy kids, right, Caroline? No! <laughs> <laughs> so we take out a lot of the juice, just, just enough to keep it moist, but I'm just getting rid of a lot of the juice, because that's the juices from the pepperoncini peppers, um, that make this so hot, um, and spicy. So getting rid of a lot of the juice out of that, um, I'm doing that right now. I can't, normally Lori says she can see who's doing the, who's checking in and saying hi. Candace and, just took out her peppers, joining okay. us. Uh, hello Candace, thank you for cooking and joining us. Uh, hopefully you were on board this morning whenever you started the recipe and I'm not going to be as good as Lori at these videos, that's for sure, but I'm trying, so um, I'm sure there'll be plenty of people with plenty of bad comments about my cooking here in a second, so. Um, like I said, you can leave as much juice as you want in it, but the more juice you have, the spicier it'll be. So we've taken out some of the juice on that. And then you can just take your forks and you can see, I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that, Caroline? Yeah. The, the beef is just so super tender and just shreds. You can shred it with just two forks, shredding it. Um, and the juice and keep shredding it and so these once again are is week five of the crock pot crocktober menu meals um lori has um 
started Croctober, what, a couple years ago? Caroline, was that yeah. right? Yes, Caroline's saying, yeah. So a couple years ago, she started the Croctober recipes and has been doing Croctober and just continues to have different recipes. The thing about shredding it with forks, occasionally you get some fat in there, yuck. But you can take that fat out as you're shredding it and get rid of that, some of the big pieces of fat. So I always try to do that to make it a little bit healthier as you're shredding it. But once it's shredded, you get the really tender. She did a good job this morning of getting it in there. Found a good piece of beef too, so it's going to be really good. As you can see in there, it's got the shredded beef. Then you take your au jus mix. Just one package. Quit laughing at me, Caroline. Um, I told her I was nervous about doing these Facebook Lives because I'm filling in. I don't know what I'm doing. So who else is on there? Um, Angela Youngman? I, my glasses yeah, aren't very Youngman. good. So glad you could join us. And so... Um, they say you're a good husband. <laughs> I don't know. She's uh, You say I'm a good husband, but my wonderful wife is the one who cooked this for me to come home to. So um, I'm just trying to fill in because, like I said, um, she's just resting tonight and filling in. So sorry it's not the normal quality of the video you normally get. So, um, But click on the link for the Croctober recipes. So there you go with the I Just Mix. Just stir that in there. Like I said, occasionally, I already told you, there's, you'll see some little pieces of fat off the beef. Well, now's the time to go ahead and get those out. Um, but go ahead and get that. And I always leave it in just for a little bit longer with the I just mix. It does, you don't have to, but just close it in for a little bit, and it'll keep that warm. Well, that's cooking. Just a, It's not even cooking. It's just warming a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead to the other crock pot that looks like it's our spice. It's your cake. It's a cake that she cooked. It's a spice cake. Oh, it smells good. And Caroline said that it smells good. And it looks good, too. It looks really good. There's some frosting. And this is on the slow cooker pumpkin spice cake. Week it's five. They're week five. And um, she's got her card here for that. Once again, you can click the link on there to get there for the um, recipes. Is that a thing to spread? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> no, no, don't Should be. laugh at me. So, um, just putting the frosting on. Let's see, the frosting says it's a um, cheese, cream, cream cheese? cheese. It's like a cream cheese frosting. It's got cream cheese, butter, vanilla, powdered sugar. Mmm, sounds really good. <laughs> um, the link should be somewhere in there. <laughs> Where it may pop up and let you get it after we're done filming so um so once again like i said we're filling in we're not the best at this facebook live stuff but um the links are in the facebook live feed where you can um get in and order and like i said i'm not very good at icing either so caroline's going to want this corner that has all of the <laughs> icing just in one chunk place because um but all these Croctober menus, I'm sorry, I hit You're you, Caroline. Um, all these Croctober... They say take it out of the pot. It'll be easier. Okay. See, that's why we have you guys here, because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, Thank you, Barbara. Barbara. So, we'll do this. We'll put this on there. Um, so, I'm icing. This is high-quality TV here, you know, watching me ice a cake. This is... Probably not the most exciting thing, but um, still, I, like I said, it's, recipes look good, and um, I know she's been doing this for a while, and the Croctobers are um, our favorite time of the year, because we really love being able to, she starts the Crock-Pot recipes, we come in from school, or come in from work, and there's something, the house smells really good, and smells yummy, like tonight, we walked in, and you could smell the spice cake, and you could also smell, smell the beef cooking and ready for dinner um so Thank i was you. definitely excited to fill in so there's the cake it is all iced um Just set it over there even is try it good? it's really good <laughs> even try some frosting <laughs> mix it it's really good i'll stick that on the side let me grab a
Lori probably wouldn't like my decorating here with my cake, but I'm going to stick this on top of there. And so <laughs> Don't there's tell our her. spice cake, which looks really good. And so we got that. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a. Um, uh, we've got hoagie rolls. Roll. We've got hoagie rolls. Thank you, Caroline. Um, I'm going to. Have a plate sorry, for dinner. Yeah, I'm sorry, I hit oh. the hit the camera. A little bumpy. So I'm taking the hoagie roll, um, and we got just a simple little hoagie roll. Um, put it there. Go ahead and use the forks that I've um, used to split the Italian beef. Just gonna get that and place it in the hoagie. And we have the main course for dinner. Um, I'm going to go grab some um, provolone cheese because yeah. I think we've got some provolone cheese. Okay. Caroline, is anyone else you want to comment who's watching? Or? Thank you to everyone saying we're doing good. <laughs> we're struggling. We're making it work. <laughs> and that's the thing. We're struggling. We're not the best at this. We're definitely not the rock stars that Lori is, so please forgive us. And especially all those other folks in the PPP team who fill in and help during that. They do a lot better job than we are doing. But um, We're more fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle. Yeah, it's... it's Disasters, you know, it's kind of like sometimes you watch um, sports for the wrecks or whatever, or for the um, the disasters. That's kind of what we are right now is we're the disaster. But you've got your hoagie roll with your Italian beef and provolone cheese, and we're gonna have a side salad with that and some yep. fruit. We'll cut up some strawberries or whatever. But basically, it's not a full long Facebook live that you normally get um, when Lori does it, but. We just wanted to fill in tonight and let you all see the completion of the menu that was started today. Once again, it's um, the slow cooker pumpkin spice cake um, with a cream cheese frosting. And it kind of is a mess because I'm not really good at icing, but it tastes really good. The, the bite I had was really, really good. And the slow cooker Italian beef sliders. Once again, um, it's the crock pot slow cooker um, menu plan. Um, when you order those plans, you'll get the, the box with these come in with each week of menus. And this, as we said, was week five. So if you go to week five, you can see the other cards that are color-coded with those. So you'll see what else this week is. There's the Italian beef sliders that we're doing. We're also later this week probably doing the slow cooker chicken cacciatore and the teriyaki pork tenderloin, pesto ranch chicken, and French onion soup. And then there's the dessert. Each week, um, comes comes, it comes with the one dessert for each week. So like week one comes with slow cooker chocolate lava cake. And week two is the apple crumble. Um, week three, ooh, slow cooker monkey bread. So I like that one too. But um, it's really kind of a neat system that she's come up with for the, um, the plan. Um, and then also in the store, whenever you're purchasing the... Um, the slow cooker plans with the box. She's got little things, little recipe card holders there for you to cook with. And um, her 2021 planner is also out. So lots of things exciting here at Passionate Penny Pincher. So, um, but we're struggling. We're trying to survive <laughs> and fill in. So um, it's not fun when one of our little ones has um, a knee surgery this last week. So trying to take care of her and I'm filling in tonight. But Thank you all for joining us and hope you have a great meal tonight. Thanks.